Uh, my name is Anthony Bowman, and I am an administrator of First Street Green Park. The park actually started in 2008. This was a, an abandoned lot. Four people actually came together to do it. John, Ann, uh, Silva, and uh, Jorge, George. time went on it evolved and like anything that is gonna grow uh, you kind of need a corporate sponsor and uh, that was the Guggenheim lab came down and that's how we got the, the pavement here uh, that's how we got our few little walls and uh, that helped us uh, expand but that was John and Ann uh, you always get involved through family and friends. I know John, one of the founders, is way back in the 19, uh, late 70s, early 80s. We were all uh, building Tribeca and Soho and young artists. Uh, I was living in Dumbo at the time. My nephew, Will Powell, came to me. He said, Uncle, I, I want to be in that park down on uh, the Lower East Side. And we had a pretty good team. Yeah, a good show here. And that's how I got involved. How do I define art? Uh, art is what you like. I know what I like, and uh, that's what I, how I define art. But art is what you like. Anything that moves you emotionally can be considered as art. You know, when we talk about street art, and you want to know why is it uh, important for it to be accessible? Street art's always accessible. If we go back to uh, any neighborhood at any time, it's the voice of the neighborhood. Uh, it's the troubadour, it's the brio, it's the same old, we'll, we'll say it that way. Uh, because when Al and Jean-Michel were doing same old, that gave access to a lot of the underserved uh, kids in New York City. With all the OGs that were doing uh, the street art on the trains, uh, that opened up their neighborhoods, that opened up their up. And then hip hop went on to become worldwide. So, yeah, I think street art is very, very, very important. Uh, not just to uh, communities, but to the world. How has New York changed throughout the years and how has it affected the art world? You know, art in New York has always been a closed society. Very few people uh, going through galleries, the French Impressionists coming over, uh, with the Armory shows. Then you get to the 50s and uh, with all the beat poets and that whole thing, everything is starting to change downtown. And uh, the big galleries are moving into Soho. Things are starting to open up. But I think the biggest change for art in New York City is the fact that the city goes bankrupt. We don't have any money. And manufacturers start to move out of New York City. Now, uh, young people have a place to both work and live, which is the new way of living these days. And uh, those are the laws. It's uh, inexpensive because nothing is cheap in New York City. But it is inexpensive. It's a way uh, that young people uh, can produce art at a very inexpensive way, and they have the space to do it. I think the space is really, really, really important. And one of the biggest things is living space. You have to be able to afford your living space. What is my favorite part of the park to people? <laughs> I love everybody that comes in here to check it out to do art here. I think it's an amazing place that it's open to the public and it's uh, accessible 24 hours a day. You may not be able to get in here 24 hours a day, but you can do uh, a peep in. And uh, I like the fact that you can peep in uh, at any time. I like that part of it. I think it's just a great place for, for young people. And uh, I think it's a great place for generations to me. And that's what I think moves the world, generational uh, interactions. That's my notes.